We all know Brahms lullaby song, right? What if I were to tell you that we can turn this peaceful theme into a video game battle song? Or how about we create a fully fledged sonata? Could you imagine a transformation into a death march? Did you even think that it was possible that you can turn this theme into a deep space adventure? Well, I'm going to prove to you that harmony can transform even a very simple melody, more specifically, Brahms lullaby. So I'm going to walk you through eight levels of harmony from simple to complex in order to demonstrate to you the true power of harmony. But stick around because I have a bonus section at the end of this video where one of these pieces has been fully orchestrated. And you're going to get a glimpse at how orchestration can also transform a melody. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Starting on level one, we have a composition by Luder using simple functional harmony. So when you look at this piece of sheet music and you don't see any accidentals, then this is an indication that the piece is strictly in key. And if it does leave key, it's still going to use the notes of the key that it's in. So in this case, if we are in C major scale, then all the harmonies created would be using the notes C through B. Here are some examples of this. In terms of the variations of this piece, you're going to notice that Luder roughly keeps the main beat of Brahms' lullaby, but he changes the pitch of the melody, obscuring the theme to an untrained ear. But would you be able to tell that this is Brahms' theme? So we enter level two with Gaspard's first variation of Brahms' lullaby. And he very clearly stays on point with the melody here. And he makes some subtle changes to the harmony. But we are mainly in the key of B. And towards the end of this piece, we enter a freestyle cadenza, which is in E minor 6. Entering level 3, we now have variations by Gabriel, which sounds like a epic video game boss battle. Gabriel makes use of slightly more complex harmonies, but he sticks to the basic key of E flat minor. And you can hear how drastically different Brahms' lullaby sounds even with some simple modulations. Before we enter the next level, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe, especially if you are enjoying these transformations. And if you'd like to be a part of my future videos, I'm going to put information in the description below. The fourth level of harmony is composed by Lewis, and he shows us how we can use mild dissonance to create the feeling of unease and tension. I'm going to show you some examples of dissonance in the key of C. Now in this composition by Lewis, there are several instances of this type of dissonance. And here are some examples of that. You're also going to notice that Lewis slightly changed the melody. For example, he used rhythms to give us the melody a swing-like feel to it. And he also changed up some pitches as well. The fifth level of harmony composed by PCC is that death march that I played for you in the intro. And even though this is the same theme as Brahms' lullaby, this is not a piece that you want to put a baby to sleep with. The melody is ominous sounding since we start off in the key of C minor. So even though this is a tonal piece using functional harmony, 
I felt that the modulations were more complex than the other level so far. is fantastic due to a combination of rhythmic changes and excellent modulations. This is definitely not the Brahms lullaby that I know. And the sixth level of harmony goes to Nazari. This is a nine minute piano solo and it starts off unassuming and we clearly can tell that this is the lullaby that we all know and love. But then let's fast forward to this section right here. So we clearly have some romantic characteristics around this piece. And then we get into this two-part invention style, which then delves into some counterpoint. bring you to this section here because the harmonies along with this style bring the complexity of this piece up a notch. This piece shows us the importance of functional harmony in composition. Level 7 goes to Gaspard in his second submission which is a space opera and I can hear that the melody is in the key of B. But this melody is actually layered with dissonant harmonies. So for example, the harmonies are not a part of the B major scale. So let me prove to you that we are in the key of B. So this is pretty complex harmony, however the dissonance in this piece is not quite as complex as in this final piece. And the 8th level of harmony goes to Hoyen. This is another piece where the melody contains functional harmony, but we have another layer of harmony that's very dissonant. Again this just means that the harmonies being used are not synchronized with the melody. So I'm going to show you that the melody is in fact in the key of F. Watch this. But due to the extreme levels of dissonance in this piece, this is the reason why I'm categorizing this as level 8 harmony. And this is actually the type of harmony that can be used to create foreshadowing some horrible events that are about to happen. I know I said we had 8 levels of harmony, but for those who stuck around, I have a surprise for you. Peter from Young Composers orchestrated Gaspard's space opera. And I want to demonstrate to you that 
instrumentation plays a huge role in changing the way a melody can sound. So would you believe that this is the same exact theme and harmony of Gaspard's version? So now that you have an idea of how harmony can be used to completely change simple melodies, I think you should check out my video here about what makes music romantic. Happy composing and see you next time.